Hey everyone, and welcome to this small tutorial on how to use fan control. Uh, my name is Remy, I'm the creator of uh, this software, and uh, I'm going to show you uh, basically how to set up set it up for the first time, and basically how uh, I do it. So when you first open up fan control, it might look a little bit like this. Uh, so you got the fan control cards and the fan speed cards. Uh, I pre-named all of my uh, fans to uh, speed this uh, setup up, but uh, when you first open it up, you might have uh, fan 1, fan 2, fan 3, fan 4, and uh, same thing for the fan speed. So how to uh, identify your fans, so this is the first thing you want to do. Um, quick tip, create a flat fan curve, uh, call it, let's say, 0% and set it up at 0%. And you want to watch your fan physically in your case, or you can use another uh, software to monitor uh, your fans, like if you got a, a ASUS thing or a MSI thing, and you want to apply that uh, fan curve to a specific fan, and then you can watch physically in your fan, uh, in your case, which fan stopped or you can watch in another software with uh, the proper labels to identify your fan. Uh, so that's how you want to do it. And, uh, okay, it's going back up. Yes, okay, we're good. And uh, so there's that. So once you got all your fans uh, labeled properly, uh, you might have noticed that my control cards have the RPM directly onto them. So how to do that? So I will remove, uh, let's say for the back fan. So as you open up the software, it might look like this with no RPM. So what you want to do is go to the top, the top right menu and use the match fans automatically feature. What that will do is set each fan to 60% and then one after the other, uh, each fan is going to be instructed to slow down to or stop and then the software will watch uh, or monitor each RPM and figure out uh, which is which. So if you set this one to stop and this one goes to zero, zero RPM, well, they are matched. So you can also do this uh, manually. So you can uh, click select uh, matching fan and as you can see, it becomes uh, red, so you can cancel, or uh, you can select in the fan speed uh, which one uh, matches. So right now there's only one possible fan as all the other fans are matched already. So you click right here and uh, now it is matched. Or if you don't do that, you can also click on uh, match uh, fan automatically which will uh, do the process, but only for uh, this one. So right now it's testing and it match with the back one. So right now selected fan speed sensor is back, right? So this, this is that. And now we uh, are ready to set up fan curves. So I'm going to show you uh, the basic setup with CPU and GPU. Uh, temperature for your case fans. So what you want to do is create two curves and a mixed curve. So we're going to call those CPU case, GPU case, and simply case. So what you want to do for the CPU one is uh, set a CPU package or CPU core or whatever temperature uh, linked to your GPU. I'm going to choose package. And for the GPU, you want to set GPU core. And what you want to do is set uh, a minimum fast speed, fan speed. Uh, this is going to be your fan speed at idle. So let's say I like 45%. And we're going to do the same thing for the GPU side. And you want to set a maximum fan speed. I'm going to set, uh, let's say, 90% or 91 whatever, uh, same thing here. And you wanna set your temperature range. So uh, for CPU, I know my CPU ain't really working unless it's at 
50 degrees and I the maximum temperature uh, over which I'm go I want my fans to go full blast is let's say uh, 65 uh, we'll do 45 to 65 and uh, I don't want my fans to really change a speed unless there's a plus or minus three degree difference and for case fans I really want them to be slow to react right uh, if my CPU ramps up uh, for a second I don't want my whole system fans to go full speed right so we'll uh, apply a lag a five second lag to the CPU uh, we're gonna do kind of the same thing for the GPU so five second lag three degrees plus or minus difference minimum and this is our CPU and GPU setup uh, for the for the fine curves and now we're gonna mix those two so I created a mix curve earlier we call it we call it case and we're gonna use the CPU and GPU uh, fan curves. So now we, we can take our uh, back exhaust fan and apply the case. We can take our front middle, apply it, front bottom, apply it, and front top. So as you can see, now each uh, of our uh, fans is following uh, that curve so and we can also apply an offset so let's say uh, our back fan is spinning slower than our front fans because it's not the same fan physically so we can apply an offset of let's say plus five percent and instead of going to 63 percent it's going to 68 plus five so the rpm now uh, matches right and this is pretty much it. So now we got all of our case fan following GPU temperature and CPU temperature, whichever one is the highest. So you can do the same process for your CPU fan and your GPU fan. Though for your GPU fan, you might want a, a new curve, which is only for your GPU and for your CPU, you want to want to do the same thing with a new, uh, curve but only for your CPU right you don't need a mixed kind of curve for uh, those two specific uh, controls all right so I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and uh, if you uh, want to download the software and or if you want to help me out and donate or send me an email I will link all uh, the appropriate links in this video description. So I hope you enjoyed it and goodbye.